peak of the fire season this year. We look back to the anniversary of a violent storm that moved through Glacier National Park a year ago today, triggering more than 100 lightning strikes and sparking several fires, including the destructive Sprague fire. Initially estimated at 80 acres, it quickly grew to nearly 17,000, destroyed the historic Sperry Chalet in the process. No wildfires are burning in the park today, but last week, Park and Flathead National Forest firefighters contained two lightning fire starts at the north end of the park in the Goat Lake region. Park spokesman, uh, spokesperson Lauren Alley says July, August and September are when the park is most vulnerable to fire starts and an extra emphasis being put on public education to keep everybody safe. Fire lookouts and firefighters are on patrol diligently watching for new smoke and fire starts. Be really cautious with your fires in the park. We always require that you have a fire in a designated um, fire ring, so it's a little bit different than some of the other public lands you might be on. So, but that's really important for the park. Allie also recommends visitors to the park check the park's website and webcams for the most current look at fire restrictions and, of course, air quality.